What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Happy to have you guys here, whether you're new or whether you've been with me for a long time. Welcome back to all of you. One of the followers asked me, I believe it was on YouTube, said, can you go through the setups that you give out every day as a review? I don't have a problem doing that. You guys want that? I can give that to you. So we're going to do that. I'm not going to go through all you know, 20 or 30, but I will go through the first, let's say, five that were on here. And we can go through and see how they played out. Uh, a couple things before we get started. Number one, this platform that we use to chart. Uh, if you're looking for something like this, there's a link in the description below to TradingView. Okay, that link will give you a free 30-day trial to their subscription-based services. So you get it free for 30 days. And then at the end of that 30 days, if you would like to continue on using that subscription, you get up to $30 off of that subscription depending on which one you choose. So that link is in the description below. The link for the Discord, the Griswold Trading Discord is down below. So everything that I offer free or fee-based is in that Discord. There's a whole bunch of free rooms. Plus there's the Griswold Gold Membership. There's the live trading bots. Uh, the... Uh, Griswold Strat Indicator is in there. It's an all-in-one stop shop for all the indicators. So it's all set up on one indicator. You don't have to have four, five, six diff different indicators. It's all in one. The link for that is also in the description or the Discord. And the last thing before we get started, the ads. I know the ads suck. Nobody likes them. I'm asking you in advance and thanking you in advance for letting those ads roll through. Those ads pay to keep this stuff free for you guys. So thank you very much in advance for those ads. Oh, and one other thing. I've got a bunch of super thanks that have come in recently, so thank you guys for those very much. Um, so there's a, a button down below this screen. It's got a little heart with a dollar symbol in it, and I believe that's the super thanks. So that's just donations and people saying thank you for what you do. So for those of you that have donated to that already, thank you guys very much. I appreciate it very much. Um, and uh, yeah, keep on doing it. Thank you very much. I, I, I don't know what else to say. I, I, I really, really appreciate it. It is... Uh, it's very kind of you guys, so thank you. All right, let's get started on this list. So the first one we're going to go through is Pfizer. So when we looked at Pfizer on the daily watch list, we had this double inside bar. So we were looking for Pfizer to either trigger to the top and hit this target or go to the bottom and hit this target. So when we looked at it, we hit the target. So once this trick... Excuse me, once this triggers, I like to go down to the five minute chart. So if we hop down to the five and we go back to the very first opening bar, and I'll zoom in so you guys can see this better. This is that first bar. Okay, so now if we're trading off the five because we've triggered, okay, so this is where we're in the trade. I'm going to put in a bar here for a stop loss. I'm going to change it to red for a stop. There you go. So once you trigger that trade and this next bar opened, you're going to look for a reversal. Okay, so this would be your stop loss off of this second bar. But we didn't hit it. So now you can move it up. Now you can either move it up to that bar or this bar. And actually, let me go into a replay just so we have this. A little bit easier for you guys okay so this is the first bar of the morning we opened and we put our stop loss at the bottom of the bar we didn't hit it okay we we closed right here and then this next bar opened up so there's two things you can do you can put it to the bottom of this bar or you can put it to this bar but it doesn't matter what you did because this bar hit targets so here's the thing guys I always tell you, once you hit profits, make sure you are taking your profits once you hit those targets. So you could have taken your profits there or some of your profits there, or you could have moved your stop down to there. What happens on the next candle is there. So again, we just move our stop loss up, okay? And again, you could have taken profits here at that target, or you just move it to there what happens on the next candle, and you're down and you're out. Okay, that's it. That's the trade. 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes at most, 20-minute trade. And if we continue to look at what happened, if you didn't take profits, guys, if you, stop, if, you, if you didn't put your stop losses in, 
And this is the thing. I don't care if this was 10%, 5%, or 50%. I always tell you guys, the candlesticks are telling you a story. They're telling you to take your profits when it hits a certain mark. And if you did it, then you didn't listen to the story. Okay, because that's exactly what happened. We hit targets and we reversed. And I don't think it's come back to that point. Look at how much, look at this. You're done. You're done in the trade. We never get back up to that point again. I'm just going to fast forward this to the beginning. We never get back up to that point. Okay? Never comes up. Make sure you're selling at your profits, at your targets. I, I can't stress that enough. Okay, let's go on to Fubo. So Fubo, I gave us that outside bar in a continuation. It didn't happen, or it hasn't happened yet. There's still, uh, I think, half hour left in the in the trading day. So maybe you hit it, maybe you don't. I'm going to hope this stays as a 3-1 setup, and then we're going to have this on our charts for, for tonight. So no play there. Then we go to MU. MU. I was looking for a trigger to the downside. I did not get it, so it's no play. Okay, then we go into Shopify. Shopify, look, targets. It was so close to that point. Let's hop back on the five. And actually this one didn't trigger until we were about 7.30 to 8.30, 9.30, about two and a half hours into the day is when Shopify triggered for us. So if you were still watching it at that point, you hop down to the five, there's our trigger, okay? There's our stop loss. Let me zoom in so I can help you guys out with this. Zoom in, triggered, stop loss, okay? Now we can move our stop loss to here or here. Doesn't matter, either one. And then we come down to here. So again, move your stop loss down. And then this bar opens up. Move your stop loss down. And then this bar is an inside bar. So you can move your stop loss down and boom, out of the trade. From 28.23 to 27.98, that's the play. Hey, that was your setup. Now, you could have stayed in this a little longer, gained a little bit more. So. A lot of times people like OG trades is one of them. He likes to use the 15. Okay, so if you use the 15, this is your stop loss there. As you can see here, we triggered there still. Then we've got our stop loss. Then we move it down to the next bar. That's our stop loss. Okay, and then this bar opens and closes. There's our stop loss. Then this bar opens and closes. There's your stop loss. Then the next bar opens and closes. There is your stop loss and back up through. So either way, you should have left Shopify with some gains. Okay, we'll go maybe check one more here. What's EW showing us on the daily? So if we go to EW, EW had that shooter candle that we had talked about. There were so many plays. We had the time frame continuity. And then we had this first target. Okay. Target was marked. If you want to find the next target, you would have had to go further back. And it would have been in here somewhere. Okay. But uh, let's go see how the five minute chart would have played out on EW, how you could have done it. Okay. So we go back to EW on the five. There is our first bar, and there is our break right there. So we break down, and we have our stop loss there. So that's not a huge loss on the day. If you keep that as your stop loss, then we have this inside bar, then we trended down, then we had a two up, 
So when we get this chop, I'm more likely to stay in this trade a little longer. So we're two down, we're inside bar, we're two down, we're two up green, just barely, and then we come right back down. Okay, you can almost say that's a TTO. Down, back up, and reverses. Okay, so off of this bar, now your stop loss for sure is at that trigger because you, you're so far into this, not so far into this trade, but you're into this trade already. Okay, so then the next one comes. You move it down to the five, there. The next one, move it down to the five, down to the five, down to the five. Okay, if you want, you can put it down to that target, but you're already at the top. I would let it run to the top. There's not much gap there. It's a three cent difference, so I would leave it at the bar, not the target. And then top of the bar, top of the bar, top of the bar, and this bar comes through, and you're out of the trade with profit. That's how this stuff works, guys. If I go to GME, I, I could go through all of these, and we could walk through every single one of these. I don't have time to do all those, but again, this one didn't trigger to the bottom. I don't think Roblox was not a triggered play. Uh, Upstart was not a triggered play. Apple was not a triggered play. AFRM was not a triggered play. Adobe. So Adobe, I talked about doing this continuation on this three bar. Okay, so we broke, and I don't have targets there because the targets are so far back. So even if we just use the bars as an example, let's go to the five. And this would have been a very, this one would have been tough to trade. I got, it's not, uh, I'm, I'm not here to sugarcoat anything and say every, every trade is a winner because it's not. Okay, but even, even on this one, guys, even on Adobe, okay, let me put the bar in for you. I, this is how simple this stuff works. We cross down the trigger, and our stop loss goes to the top of the bar. Okay? Easy enough. Then this next bar opens and closes to the top of the bar. Then we get the inside bar to the top of the bar, and then this outside bar comes back up, and we're out of the trade. Okay, it's a one, looks like a $1 move. Basically a $1 move on Adobe. Again, I don't know the percentages, but you should have left the trade green. There's no reason, even if this was like, and that's the thing where we looked at, sorry, at Pfizer, and we went back at Pfizer, and Pfizer triggered, and and I told you guys, there's no, where are we here? There, this one. If this was only 5%, it doesn't matter. If you held this because you're like, 5% isn't enough for me, or Whatever it was, 10%, 15%. If you're looking for that 100%er and you didn't get it, that's your fault. It's not anybody else's. We teach the systems and the strategies, but you need to follow the systems and the strategies in order for this stuff to work out. Was this the greatest of trades? No. Did it hit its targets and do exactly what it was supposed to do? Yes. It did exactly what it was supposed to do. Now, whether you followed those rules to what it was supposed to do or not, that's your decision, but you follow the rules, you follow the strategies, You, this system will work for you guys. The strat will work for you guys. I promise you that. So I'm on Twitter at Mr. Clark Griswold. You can follow me there. Make sure you subscribe down below if you thought the information was helpful to you and wait till the end. There's more videos just like this one to help you guys learn the strat. Videos, playlists, click on them, watch them, learn it. Make it like breathing, okay? Good luck trading tomorrow, guys, and I wish you nothing but the best and nothing but green. Bye-bye.